كسر وعلى صلح على تي في قناة تزاد كمان ذي كلمة سير واشنطن وليو حكوا كده شنا برنامج تدي تحنا يا كوسافتنا أرمى برشلا دقالها وح برشلا يا عفمتك وليو حان كشنا قرشي إن أنا وين إنه شنا لكن ما دام دت فرب بدن إسوب وعدان الله هذا ستحب قلوا كل يدار هذا أيام رئيس شنا لا أنت مسوب وقت مركا وحنا سودينا إنه برنامج كأنا وين إنه أرمى بدن أنا كذا هذا إنه أرمى برشلا یست همین تکلیف دهای از بدلا دان که دعای گیسک آفریکا مدام داد بدن ای کنولیان قربها و همچنین چالا این آنو آریم خا قربها بدن آنو او تصور نه آن آن از کوت حالا چنین بر این آنو حکر نه آنو گفای دن آمد از سومالیان مرور به چوگان مکا وحیا فر بدن حیث لایا ناسا صعدا آنو ری کوچینا تیجاب دادی یا سان اور مرین لحن آمد از سومالیت بر ما تو حالا چالا سنا این آن لشکر کرد سان و حالا این صحنه برنامه ادی ادی حیث لایا خصوصا حقا مچاچل ده، مرکا وحاء نویوال یا قلوی فربدن آیا مرکا بنامش کن نقل قیب کلیه، مرکا بر نقل داوده بنامش کن این دکتر کل مانت داوده اشی ده قیم حاله، نقل سعودنا بر برنامه دست سعود مستقبل کا وحیا فربدن آریم ها کس. کس دو، کس دو، پکارم. Greetings, my fellow Africans. When it comes to a white woman, stick with what you know. Don't try to be a white man or a westernized male. Be or behave as barbaric as possible and wear a colorful costume. I'll show you how. Hi there. You're late, mister. Nothing serious. Just a few minutes. More like 45 minutes. I was detained back by my employers. Oh, that's okay. You're here now. I know how traffic can be in this town. Besides... But I don't drive here. Oh. Oh, how did you get here? I walked. Lady, I think I told you my last ride back to home was a donkey. Uh, did you say a donkey? Yes. I needed my donkey today. When, where is that good donkey when you need him? I, I don't remember hearing anything about a donkey. I do remember you said that you were employed at the main supermarket. That is true. And I really dislike to hate the police. They keep telling me to smile at their customers. What human being can smile all day like that? In my country, lady, only crazy people smile like that all day. Well, in our country, it's called customer service. It helps people feel welcome, you know, appreciated. There's camel shit. Excuse my Arabic. I know that are hard. I really miss my job back to home. What, if you don't mind me asking, what was your job back in Africa? Nothing serious. I was working for a Somali warlord. A warlord? Oh, that's terrible. I know. The shifts were brutal, and we were not paid for overtime. And it is true, we had no dental plan. But at least we did not have to smile all day like some idiot people. How, how old were you when you worked for that warlord? Nine. Or maybe mostly ten. You poor thing. I am not a thing. Don't talk like that. Oh, it's just an expression. So you were a child soldier? I have heard that's what the United Nations calls my first employment. Well, you must be so thankful to be living in Canada to get away from all of that. Canada is a good country, except your government seems to have one stupid rule. How, how do you mean? Your country seems to think a man cannot have more than one wife for some reason. You can't be serious. I am, but what can a man do? We have to obey your oppressive rules. 
What are you humming? I don't hum anything. Uh, humming, uh, you're almost singing a tune. Nothing serious, just some old African song. Our people used to sing for the independent wars from the Zulus of South Africa to the Somalians of East Africa. Every warrior knew that song by heart. I'm curious, what do the lyrics mean? Uh, nothing serious. One song goes like this. Kill the white man, take his wife, convert his children. Nothing serious. Only my poor translation makes it look bad. I see. Just a good old African war song, eh? I'm sure that the white man must have been the aggressor, though. You are a wise woman. You reason like a man. Let me ask you a single one question. Absolutely, Mr. M Matuna Mat... I'm sorry, you have such a difficult name to say. It is Mr. Matunda Matunda Waninde. Matunda Waninde. Not like that. You left some part. I teach you again. Mr. Matunda Matunda Waninde. Okay, Matunda, Matunda, Wanyende. Good. That's closest enough. Thanks. Now go ahead and ask me whatever question it is you wanted to ask. In your opinion, how many animals would your father accept from me when you become my beautiful wife? I'm sorry, I don't follow. Let me be straightforward with you, good white woman. I can offer your family up to 50 cows, maybe some goats. You are not naturally blonde, so I cannot be expected to add a chicken in there. But if your family insists, I will add a monkey or even a bird, maybe a donkey too, into the bargain. So let me ask you this. How your father will say to my offer? I, I'm very flattered and I appreciate the offer, but I, I don't think that we're there yet. I agree. We are not there. We are here. Yes, we are here now. So let's just enjoy the evening and we can talk about cows and donkeys later. Perhaps we should order some food. Yes, we need to eat. I am starving. And I tell you, it will not be the first time. But you haven't even opened the menu. I hope you like Italian food. I'm not Italian. Neither am I. Come to my house. I cook for you. Some real food from my country. It's called Ugali. Ugali. It sounds yummy. It does not sound like anything what you say. But our elders call Ugali Africa is national food. I can't believe that you want to cook for me. I also have something else for you. Uh, what is this? Some random wood? No, not just some random wood. This is from the tree under which the great Mandela himself meditated when he was in prison. Not some random wood. Oh my gosh, that is so touching. Should have been dead. A tail on green eel. Garaba koalata avan takso gari. Na idun kuanajilaha. Malawi is Somali, Mikalajajan, Ilaha, America, 